My sixth combat sortie would begin at 1400 hours. We would be escorting a flight of eight Peshkas that are hitting German railroad positions to the south of us. Six Ishaks would be taking off, covering the PE-2s all the way to the target area. Enemy presence is expected to be very heavy. However, I was eager to down my fifth fascist machine and call myself an ace. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to more IL-2 Battle of Moscow as we continue our career in the I-16. Today we will be escorting a large group of PE-2s to their destination just to the south of our airfield here, and we will be operating more or less where we have been operating for the majority of the series. Let's go ahead and get our radiators all set up. They're popping off flares and can look around and see if we can find the flight of PE-2s. I do not see them just yet, however. <clears throat> Make sure everything in our little e-shack is in order. Everything's looking good. Lights are on and we are good to go. I'm not seeing the Peshkas. However, we're just waiting for them to fly on by for us to take off. And there we go. We got the radio call. We are clear for taking off. Nikita is rolling. I will begin rolling. Okay, slam it forward. Counter with some rudder. There's the, there's the Peshkas off to um, 11 o'clock there in a V formation. I'm going to stop looking at them so I can focus on uh, getting our aircraft airborne. Okay, and gear up. Start cranking that landing gear up. There's the Peshkas right there. Awesome. Okay, takeoff was successful, and we will be escorting the Peshkas. Of course, there are six I-16s that will be doing this. Let's get our RPM up a bit more. There we go. That's much better. Lights off. And we will slot into the number two position. I do expect there's going to be some pretty heavy uh, enemy resistance. The bombers aren't flying that high, which overall is good. Good for us anyway. So we're all going to form up and head on down south. I am expecting, like I said, significant enemy resistance, so it should be quite interesting. Uh, us, you know, protecting the bombers. Normally we're sent to attack them. This will be a, a nice change of roles, I suppose. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and catch up with flight lead here. We'll get into position. And I'll keep you folks updated as we head towards the front lines. Okay, just a slight update on our current position. We have crossed front lines now. As you can see, the Peshkas are down there. Right down below us, and we are just zigzagging up above them. So far, no enemies have been sighted. However, lots of villages, and there's an airfield off to our left here that is in smoke as well. Oh, no, that's a town. My bad. We should be coming up on an airfield. I thought there was an airfield that I just saw. It's probably just out of view at the moment. And it looks like I'm slightly lower than the rest of my comrades. It looks like there was tracer fire there along the river. Yep, look at that. Tracer fire down at 11 o'clock. Well, regardless, we should be coming up on an airfield if I uh, go ahead and check the map. Let's actually auto level see it looks like we will be flying right over an enemy airfield in 1505 and route to the target area this is where the peshkas will be dropping their bombs it looks like right on that uh railroad station right there that's the primary target and then we will turn tail and run on home hopefully it all goes to plan there looks like i don't know if that's um anti-aircraft uh artillery being shot at them or 
just troops fighting on the ground. Probably is just troops fighting on the ground. And there we go, flak being tossed our way now. No big surprise there. Let's go ahead and throttle up. It looks like the other e shanks are getting in front of me. Overall, it's been fairly smooth flying. Like I said, no enemies have been sighted. So this may be a fairly routine sortie. Although, I would be very surprised, honestly, if it was just a, uh, you know, there and back again sortie. I do expect there will be enemy aircraft or something will go wrong. More anti-aircraft fire getting awfully close to us, but not close enough. It's probably aiming for the Peshkas down below us. There's the airfield. One thing I did want to mention is uh, in between this episode and the last episode, there was a patch for IL-2 Great Battles, and they updated the physiology model and, you know, G modeling and all of that good stuff. So uh, this will actually be the first time I'm flying with it. So hopefully I don't black myself out and uh, die. Okay, anti-aircraft fire is actually getting a little thick, a little thick here. Um, thicker than I would like to be quite honest with you. Okay, well, we're just going to keep moving. Keep zigzagging, make ourselves a difficult target to hit. And keep our eyes peeled for any uh, BF-109s that may be diving down upon us. I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident, though. I think the sortie we will get kill number five. Anyway, we'll see. I'll keep you folks updated. Okay, we are very, very close to the bomber's target location. If I nose down just a little bit, we'll be able to see it right there at 12 o'clock. And you can see the railroad track. We're pretty much flying right over at the moment. Let's keep our SA up just a little bit so we don't have a mid-air collision here. The roll rate in this thing is just phenomenal, though. I love it. Anyway, we'll continue to stick with the rest of our flight. There's an enemy airfield right there. That is worrisome. Peshkas are about to drop their bombs. Getting close there. There's the Peshkas. They're pretty hard to see against the, uh, the gray and brown terrain. More anti-aircraft fire right there. It's probably coming from the airfield. So far, very clear skies, though. No enemy aircraft sighted. I'm very, very surprised. Well, if there's nothing around, I may just sweep down around the front lines and... Uh, Drave some uh, enemy positions. Don't want to go home with my uh, without having fired a round. This is looking like a fairly routine sortie, however. Let's try to see the Peshkas. I do want to watch them drop their bombs. They're almost on the target now. Okay, bombs away. Okay, they dropped them and they are peeling left. Let's keep our aircraft uh, kicked over so we can see. Some anti-aircraft fires going up against them. There we go, look at that. Just carpeted the area there. Okay, now we're going to turn and follow our comrades, it looks like. 
They are taking quite a bit of anti-aircraft fire. They've also changed the... Uh, Oh, the air raid sirens going off. Sirens are going off down there. That's awesome that I can hear it. One side note, it sounds like they changed the uh, the breathing sound effect. I don't know if that's uh, my oxygen. I'm assuming it is. But that is rather interesting, or if it's me pulling like G. I'll have to experiment with that. Like I said, this is the first time I'm flying with a new patch and they added all sorts of goodies. Anyway, very cool, nonetheless. Looks like we're just turning. I'm gonna throttle up. I don't wanna get caught all the way back here and increase my chances of getting bounced, so. See, are any aircraft taking off down there? Any scrambles? No, it doesn't look like it. Well, this has been fairly routine, okay. Um, there we go. Well, I am going to form back up with my flight, and I'll keep you folks updated. Once we get pretty close to the front lines, I may swoop down and, uh, engage some ground targets down there. So that should be a little fun. Um, yeah, these are all e up ahead. No enemy sighted thus far. I'll keep you all updated on the situation, however. Okay, we got tracer fire, 12 o'clock. That's a 109 right there. Let's startle up. Oh, okay. Lots of tracer fire. Okay, let's go get them. Forgot to switch over to stage two as well, so we'll do that in the meantime. This is where Yuri becomes an ace. We're going to go for this one. Looks like BF-109 F-Series. Check our six. Oh, just missed. Let's turn the whip of this aircraft's nose around. Got a hit there. That one's going down. Adios. Got another 109 that just swung right past me. Let's try to kick this aircraft around. One coming up right here. I, I nicked it there, I believe. Okay, let's maintain our altitude, cut the boost. Let's see, where are they? Come on, come on. On the verge of a stall there. Starting to push this aircraft a bit more and more as I get more and more comfortable with fighting in it. Okay, where are, where is that guy? I did hit that 109. Not as much as I would have liked, and I, I do think it was uh, machine guns that hit them. Not our 20s. Being shot at. Okay, 109 just passed right overhead. Definitely has an altitude advantage over us. Less than ideal. Did not hit him there. However, we're on a six. And he is putting quite a bit of distance between us. Hit him. Nicked his wing there. Oh, come on now.
Hit him good then. He's wobbling around. Like he's having serious issues. He's going down, right? We're going to follow him all the way down. I keep nicking him. It's just nothing serious. We're out. I think he's dead. Is he going to pull out of that? I'm amazed. That is one tough BF-109. He may end up going down, I have no idea, but in the meantime, we are going to turn back north and get the hell out of here. One is not bad and one damaged severely. I I wish these uh, cannons had way more ammunition than they really do. Ammo is definitely lacking. Also, I just have to get used to uh, using this weaponry overall. In any case, one aircraft destroyed. That makes Yuri an ace. We are taking lots of anti-aircraft fire, which is less than ideal. It just got hit a little bit there. A few bullet holes in our wing. Nothing critical. No engine damage. We're just going to swing back and forth and uh, regroup with the rest of the Peshkas. Hopefully none of the Peshkas were taken out and uh, we completed our job. Overall, pretty good engagement for Yuri. And we're pretty close to the front lines at this point. I'm going to slow down, get out of um, boost, and fly on and regroup. Well, it looks like that is another successful sortie down. There's the Peshkas right there with their lights on. They are going in for their landing. It's interesting that that is their airfield. Um, if I am remembering correctly, that's the same airfield the IL-2s operated out of. Although these Peshkas may be going to another one that I'm just not seeing. And there's my Ishak friends. Just made contact with them. Let me check the map. Oh, yeah. Same airfield. Okay, cool. And Rajev is right here. There it is. Well, there's the city proper, and there's our airfield. So I'm going to go ahead and throttle down, start killing off altitude, and we will come in for our landing. It looks like one PE-2 has already landed there. Nice. Okay, well, we'll throttle down, try to kill off some airspeed, and... Uh, Get ready to bring this bird down. My landings have been fairly good, all things considered. Only have a few bullet holes in my aircraft. It looks like some on my right wing and also some on my tail right there. Just a few. And there's an aircraft. Oh, that's a flare. I will shoot off a flare for them. There we go. Green flare. And there's already an aircraft going over the field. It's probably one of ours. Hopefully everyone made it back A-OK. -okay. It was a pretty intense fight with that BF-109. I don't believe... Yeah. I think that last one ended up getting away, unfortunately. But that's okay. Looking good so far. We'll drop flaps as needed. We'll drop it a little bit now. We'll come in for a landing on this runway.
Okay, a little bit more flaps. Start slowing down a bit more. Try to see over this uh, big engine in front of us. Overall, I'm feeling pretty good about this one. Drop flaps more and more. Slow down more and more. Oh my gosh, we are off center here. It's because it's so hard to see. Oh, this is going to be rough. Ooh, yep. Yeah. But we're down. Yeah, that was not good. Didn't bust anything. Holy crap, that was <laughs> not good. Oh, well. We're down. Everything is in order. This slipped up at the end there. Landing successful. Thank you very much, game. Okay, well, in that case, we'll go ahead and end the mission, and I will see you folks on the other side of the loading screen. Okay, and there we go. Mission accomplished. We shot down one enemy aircraft and also damaged another. The mission lasted 32 minutes and 50 seconds. Let's see what all happened. It looks like uh, the enemy factory was destroyed, and this was probably... Yep, BF-109 F4 destroyed, and that was my kill. It looks like there were no other kills. Let's go ahead and finish, and hopefully all of our comrades got back. Been awarded aircraft kill bonus. All right, I got a 1,000 more rubles. How about that? And it looks like we did lose one pilot. He is only wounded. He was wounded in action, but everyone else made it back home A-OK. -okay. And we shot down one aircraft during the sortie. Overall, not too shabby. And we are surviving, which is really the main accomplishment here in this um, in this series. Every day we live is uh, an accomplishment. So I am really enjoying this series. I hope you are all as well. Thank you all for watching as always. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like as always. It really does help out the channel. But until next time, that's all I have for you. This is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you all on the next one.